Hi, Christine, Remodelista. I've been following the design scene here in London for 15 years since I moved here to work as an architect. Here's my Oyster card and I'm ready to go. I'd be thrilled if you could join me. Argent is a leading UK contemporary craft fair. This year there are more than 200 exhibitors in Old Spitalfields Market. This finely thrown porcelain tableware is made by Rachel Dormer, a potter who works out of Cambridge. She manages to turn the prosaic everyday tableware into something extraordinarily special using elegant shapes, calming, cool glazing colors, retro blue, pale green, white. Um, I just love these sweet salt and pepper pots. There's something really magical about Anya Keeley's world of collage. She works with mixed media and combines um, elements of an older world into new and really imaginative ways, creating witty ornaments and objects. Her interesting use of maps as a backdrop to her collage pieces, for me, really sort of enhances the illusion of uh, being just, you know, in another fantastic world. And just look at this magical world of forests and creatures created by Richard and Barbara Keel using his wooden furniture and hangers and her amazing felt work hats. At Maison d'Objet in Paris this year, apparently, animal heads on walls were all the rage. And I like to think of these as sort of the English version, quirky and personal. And as Barbara muses on her website, can you imagine the high, winter high street bustling with creatures like this? From creatures to dogs, more English wit brought to us by Muir and Osborne, knitwear designers, dogs of every imaginable breed. You can buy them already made, or you can even knit one yourself with one of these kits that come in these cute bags. And if you feel your favorite pet is just too unique, you can have him or her custom knit like you would do a portrait.